A police chief in a small town is making a big political statement in southern Washington. A tower to Trump sits in the front lawn of Morton's police chief, Roger Morningstar. It's his First Amendment right to do that, but the concern lies with the controversy Morningstar has received for months, with activist groups accusing the chief of being a right-wing extremist after Morningstar allegedly posted incendiary pictures and video on his Facebook page. One of those activist groups is the Southwest Washington Anti-Racist Movement, or SWARM. Swarm says Morningstar posted this image that appears to be doctored of President-elect Joe Biden with a noose around his neck. Swarm also sent us pictures of Morningstar posing with Dion Thompson, a known far-right provocateur and Proud Boys associate last September. We reached out to the Morton PD, but the chief declined to comment. The mayor's office, however, sent us a statement saying that what Chief Morningstar's personal political views are is covered under his constitutional rights. In regards to the Facebook post, the mayor stated that as soon as he learned the post contained a photo of the president-elect with a noose, he removed it immediately. It was in error and was addressed appropriately. We spoke to some residents in Morton, and not everyone is on board with their police chief's actions. Well, I'm all for free speech. Um, I'm not a fan of the tower, by any means. People hold teachers and other officials to... Uh, there were to be to stay neutral, and I think I, I wish I wish uh, that went for the police chief as well. Some are also hoping that leadership can move past the politics to focus on what communities like Morton really need right now. It just seems like the smaller businesses are taking it the worst. Um, it, it's surprising to me that so many larger places are able to function, and yet. Uh, it doesn't seem equitable that a lot of the smaller places are suffering so hard. And as political tension continues to build in the country as the next president enters the White House, police in towns like Morton are simply hoping to get the relief they need to move forward.